Hello, welcome to Sustainable Survival. This is year three on my mom's square foot victory garden. Every Mother's Day, it's kind of a tradition, I come in and put the uh, garden in for her. So we'll take a quick walk around here. See the little grape barbers that I put in. This is gonna be cucumber here, and the front is radish. These are eggplant with a couple of spare tomato plants in the back. These are all tomato plants. Now we have put uh, flowers in between to help the pollinization. Up here we have hot peppers and sweet peppers. This big blank spot here is beans. These are some extra sweet pepper that we had left over. This is mom's little herb garden here. She has a couple of onion sets in that blank spot. These herbs were actually planted three years ago. This is a Macintosh apple tree. In this bed we have some broccoli. In the back there is sage. This is also a Macintosh apple dwarf. Here we have strawberry as a mulch covering. And then this is a, uh, a giant pear tree here. It's going to be massive when it's all said and done. And mom planted some marigolds. And then this is a cherry tree. And then over here we have a peach tree. And if you look really closely on this peach tree, there's already a whole crap load of peaches on it. So this is year three for these trees. I think these trees are a total of five years old. And they're growing pretty big. I'm gonna actually have to prune these back next year in the fall. But just wanted to give you guys a quick look at it. This is mom's square foot victory garden. I think square foot victory gardens are just victory gardens in general should be really important for the years coming up. I urge anybody that has the space to do so, even if you just have a lawn, to go ahead and rip that lawn up and put in a garden. I know some people say that gardens aren't attractive to look at, but I think that this little garden space is a nice little place to come hang out with the raised beds. And the raised beds uh, make it a lot easier. It doesn't take a lot of work and it's not that hard to weed. So just something to consider for your future gardening.
also new for this year, uh, last year we had kind of a drought here in Ohio, so I installed this rainwater collection system for her. Just want to give you guys a quick look at it. And it's a fairly simple rainwater collection system, and it's just gravity feed into a garden hose with a little spigot down here. And that's what is used to actually water the garden that's over there. So it should be exciting how this turns out. Uh, it's got a really good, nice top cover on it, uh, and it should do fairly well. So we'll see how it goes. I want to really quickly dub in uh, the last three years of this garden project to show you uh, both 2011, 2012, and now 2013. As always, thanks for watching. Spear Cartel is here and this is going to be a quick video. This is V Blog, day one, mom's square foot garden. I just finished it for her. First off, in the first box we have leaf lettuce and then the, on the outsides we have cabbage and there's a uh, cherry tree. Now since the fruit trees are going to be small this first year, I decided to go ahead and utilize the space in the boxes. In the next box here we have uh, uh, cabbage again, some strawberry, there's some onion sets, and then that is a peach tree. The next box we have all strawberries around the pear tree, and there is a few little onion sets in there as well. The next box we have herbs, oregano, sage, dill, the whole works, and uh, some broccoli along with the apple tree. In this box we have herbs also and broccoli. Basil, cilantro, coriander, and another apple tree. In this box here we have squash and uh, cucumbers. And then the very end we have three little watermelon plants and hopefully we'll get them to grow off the side this box we have nothing but tomato plants. Now it has been really hot and I'm hoping that uh, these plants make it through because uh, I planted these tomato plants, most of them, uh, a few days ago and they're a little bit brown but I think they'll be alright. This box here in the big blank spot you have beans 
On the very end you have hot pepper, six plants. And then this is an assortment of eggplant and uh, bell peppers. And there are a few, I think two bell peppers in this one also. Then you have the grape arbors with the grapes. So we'll give you a little bit of a shot from back here. Yeah, I'm done watering. Spear Curtalis, day one, mom square foot garden. And a nice shot of the sunset. So that is the, uh, the finished product. As always, thanks for watching. Thank you.